What is going on, guys? Nifty Bacon back on Car Mechanic Simulator. You thought I was gone, but no, I'm still here. Uh, I've been just working uh, several days in a row, and I haven't had a chance to do a video, so uh, it's not that I haven't come up with any ideas or anything to do a video. It's just working, 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 which is good for me, you know? Uh, but I figured we could go back to basics in this episode, kind of go back to the jobs that we used to work and everything because we need more of a challenge because the restorations are just too easy. We've done a lot of the cars, we've done everything we kind of can do with the tires, engines and swaps and stuff. And since we're waiting for the DLCs, we can kind of go back into, you know, the jobs again. So, hello, it's me again. My wife has lost control of the car while driving on a wet road. Fortunately, she didn't hit anything. Well, that's good. It makes me wonder if there's something wrong with the steering as I can feel the car pulling to one side and sometimes I can hear some strange noises coming from the front wheels. See if you can fix it as I just don't want to deal with those used car dealers anymore. I can't afford a new car just yet. Well, it kind of looks like she hit something because it's missing the whole front end here. So I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. But yeah. So let's go ahead and drain the oil, which we don't usually do when we're restoring a car. Or have to. So uh, do this again. Had quite a bit in there, actually. All right, so... We've got a lot of body parts and stuff to deal with. But we should do the engine stuff first. Yeah, let's just do that. So, I can just pretty much tell what all is bad because of all the rusty parts, you know, as we go. So this is a good video for some of you guys who have just gotten the game because I've actually seen people in the comments that have just got the game and they're still pretty low level still going through the jobs and stuff like that and even if you're a high level like 36 where we're at uh still have to do jobs to level up quickly as well because we've done a lot of restorations and we still have only like leveled up like one level i think you know what i forgot to do i forgot to uh use all those little tester things on the engine so we could see what's up with it so we don't have to tear the whole thing apart let's put this back together apparently i'm a little rusty at this i'm used to just tearing everything apart and then uh fixing it and putting it back together so that's why i wanted to do this because it's been a while and i just wanted to challenge myself again with uh these jobs um Forgot how to do the, uh, oh, there we go. That's, this is what I need. It's been so long I haven't used any of this. I guess we'll do the fuel test first because I forgot that's the fuel test and that's not anything else. All right, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> Check some other stuff here. Yeah, it's been pretty busy at work, man. It's crazy. It's great to have all kinds of work, but at the same time, it sucks because uh, I can't do any videos, pretty much. Literally just working 15, 16 hours, getting home, sleeping, and going back to work. That's all I've been doing. So It's not like I have any time at all to do a video whatsoever. But yeah, man, that's how it is. But we got one made right now. Yeah. I'm sure those DLCs will come out. And wouldn't you know, I don't know why I did the tire tester, but why not? I'll just show you guys all the tools. All the fun tools. If you haven't seen it or you haven't leveled up, uh, these are all the tools you can get. You know what we could do too? Uh, I can just show you guys, you know, all the level ups and things like that as you go along. You know, if you get to level four, Upgrades your garage from the single stall to a uh, repair bench and the test path You know you get some discounts you can walk faster um, 
Now you can screw and unscrew faster, repair parts, 75%, 5% discounts, and then you can uh, get the tablet at like level 5. Uh, you can upgrade to, uh, to a warehouse and an extra car stall and uh, or lift on level 12. That's pretty much where you can get the junkyard too, so that's a pretty awesome place to be at the level. Uh, and then you can repair more parts and things at level 15. Uh, get some more abilities and things. Uh, you can see the value of the car on the auction. So it helps you buy the auction cars once you get to that point. Level 30 gives you the paint shop, the dyno, and like the third lift. And then you can get 50% off parking levels at level 35. So if you don't buy any of those, you can get 50% off of that, which saves you a lot of money. Uh, for sure. So, uh, let's get back into this car. And apparently, all the tests we did didn't do anything to help us figure out what's wrong with the car. I think it's just like suspension stuff, because the engine seems fine. Oh, we haven't been doing suspension, we've been skipping it, so I guess we can just do it on this one, right? I'm hoping I can get this whole thing done in a, one video without having to you know, stop and stuff. Uh, this would probably be bad. Um, what's the percentage? 100%. Okay. So we'll check the bearing. 11%, so we needed that. Yeah, that was bad too. A lot of this stuff's gonna need to be replaced. Pretty much all suspension stuff. Yeah, that steering rack needs to be done too. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Nothing too fancy in this episode. We've had a lot of fun on the other episodes, so uh, have like a, a chill one today. Sort of. We're actually getting back to our roots of, uh, you know, car mechanicking, you know? Yeah. Car mechanicking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 What's up, Doc? Suffering fuckatage. Yeah. Making me think of work. Yeah. So I was working on Space Jam 2, which we're still filming. And uh, I'm just doing like filming in different locations. So I'm doing other stuff. Like uh, today I was on Shameless for a short time. I was a prisoner inmate. So that was interesting. I was like the only one, it was really weird. It's like, there's not any other guys? <laughs> Just me, huh? And it was in an actual prison, so I was like, I really hope I don't get, uh, you know, confused with the other inmates. <laughs> so it was actually like a real prison that was operating. I was like, I hope I don't end up in jail and like confused with the other inmates. That would be horrible. Or there'd be like, this crooked criminal, like, having this, like, diabolical plan, like, he looks just like me, and then he ends up taking my spot, and then I get stuck in jail for the rest of my life. That'd be horrible. <laughs> be something out of a movie or something, then I'd have to prove my innocence and stuff. In jail, while I'm getting educated and dealing with all the craziness that's going on. Like, typical prison movie. Like, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. I really shouldn't be here. No! <laughs> I think I'm trying to... I think I'm just going through the motions. I feel a little uh, out of it right now. That's what I'm doing. Oh, snap. Come on, dang it. Go this way. There you go. There it is. How much you want to bet? 
I missed some parts because I'm like, uh, maybe they're not as rusty as I think they are, and they're not that bad. Yeah, these bushings definitely need to be replaced. You know, let's just throw these in here so we don't forget. Since they have to be at 100% anyway. Um, it's probably good right now. Let's just repair this stuff. Oh, that's right, I got all this stuff from the junkyard. I was looking around for a car like this, and I can't find any of these, like, four-cylinders or, like, Audis or any... Wow, that froze up. Still freezing. Still freezing up, as you guys can see. It doesn't like to do that when you have a big group of parts from the junkyard. It freezes up. But anyway, I couldn't find a car like this, like an Audi or four-cylinders, in the junkyards. I keep getting muscle cars and V8s, so I was like, well, I guess this is the next job. We could just do that instead, since it is one of these cars. So we're missing one, two, maybe three? Three? Yeah, three things we haven't found yet, so... I don't know what that would be. I have no idea. Probably the best thing to do. I bet you it's a bushing or something. I'm just going to put this stuff back together. Since we need to buy parts. Um, I'm going to put it back together. And then. Let's we'll have to go through the test path. And stuff like that. See if we can find out what bushing it is. To make it faster. Like, we always, like I usually do. At least show you guys like a quick way of doing it. Because we pretty much found most of the parts already. Uh, these are fine. I think. Those are bad. Actually, let's uh, let just highlight all the stuff. Forget I can do that. Because then I don't forget what I'm missing. And I don't have to keep going back and forth. Thing, like, is it the right percentage with this one, or? Yeah, brake caliper, brake pads, nothing about discs. Or was that at the end? Oh, go back there, okay. Yeah, calipers, pads, nothing to do with the disc brakes, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Like four of those. Let's get four of those for the heck of it. That's pretty much just asking us to do that. That bearing should be fine. And lower suspension arm. We're probably out of bushings. Let's get a bunch so we don't run out. And little tips about fixing up the cars, just make sure you put the exact same part on it. You know, you don't want to put upgraded parts on it or change things and stuff because it won't accept it. You have to pretty much do the exact same part that it was uh, broken and stuff. So if you didn't know that, so I did have somebody uh, ask about that and they were like, oh, I guess it did work. Because I suggested just to put the normal thing in there because they had put like uh, different seats like upgraded seats in it and it wasn't uh, finishing the job and it was just simply that uh, he put upgraded seats in it and it didn't register in the game that he had fixed it because it was an upgraded part and not the original So that's still good. 
That's good. These are good. And front drive axle H, which we're in that. Wow, I'm starting to drag. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy already. This is a short day, so I got a chance to come home, but I'm just like still drained from uh, all the days I've been working on in a row. It's not really that tough of work, it's just the long hours and then it's just that kind of thing that makes it uh, crazy. It just makes you tired, it's really strange. It's almost like, you know, a ride a motorcycle, if you guys have, for like a long distance. Like, you'll get off the bike after a two hour ride if you're not used to riding a bike and you just feel exhausted, you're just worn out. Especially if it's like really windy out. I just feel like super tired from uh, riding for so long, especially in the wind, because you're you're fighting the wind constantly. It's really weird. It's gonna put 100% on it because I don't know which side it was supposed to have the 100%, and I don't feel like dealing with that. I bet you it's these bushings that we're missing like three from. Yeah, that's one of them. So we could have put it all together and went through the test path and then it would have just told us these three bushings needed to be replaced. That one's fine. I guess it's just those two. Nope. I want the 46. Or 49, yeah. Need that one on there. And then the uh, inner cooler. Um, where are you? There it is. Medium intercooler. Not the large or the small, but the medium. It's just right. Yeah, yeah, it's just right. Yeah, it's just right. Wow. Oh, um, yeah. I'm just getting really sleepy all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. I'm suddenly, like, really tired. We can do it. Come on, stay awake. We got it. Can we not put... Oh, we can put the wheel on. I was like, um, shouldn't we be done with it? I think we should be able to put a tire on here. Although we need to put bushing in here as well. The hard thing about doing these jobs is it's like you forget like which parts you put in and what you're missing, what you haven't checked. So it looks like we got all the stuff on here. I'm just running on like... Yeah, I'm just going through the motions right now. Just uh, not really... Uh... Thank you. Very well right now. I'm just tired. Yeah, I can tell I'm lying yawning. Hmm. But we got a video up for you guys. <laughs> it's not gonna be super exciting or very energetic. Except for that last part. Um, but it's a video, right? And it helps you with your car jobs. Maybe it'll help you guys out if you need help with it, or maybe not. We'll see what happens. Doing pretty good with this car though. Um, I think we just got three parts, and I guess we did fix the module, so I didn't need to buy it, but whatever. That battery's fine. Alright, so... We're still... Okay, we got that, we got that, we got that, we got that. And we're still missing, like, three parts, it looks like. That we haven't found. Click, 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 click. Clickety clack, 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 clack. Click, click. Yeah, so we're missing like three things under the car or somewhere. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's just the uh, coils. I'm not sure. But 
Well, why is it showing the steering rack? That's weird. That's like 100%. Right? Yeah, that's fixed. Why is that highlighted? That's weird. I have no idea. Yeah, why are those highlighted? I turned them off. Huh. Does it say like a wheel? Oh yeah, the wheels need to be fixed. Um, what else are we missing here? Front. A-Link. Oh, okay, so we need 100% on that one then too. I was just so out of it, I'm not really like realizing what I did. Oh, dang it. Well, we gotta take this off. Anyway, they changed the wheel. Because apparently it needs to be fixed, I guess. Apparently. Did I buy uh, end link? So this must be the end link that I was supposed to put on for the 100%, and then I was supposed to put this end link on the other side, but we're just gonna throw it on here. Who cares? Just uh, ready to get this video done. Okay. So we just need the tire there and then need to, oh, this rim needs to be fixed too. Need rear shock absorbers. I don't know if I'll stay awake for the whole episode or not. Oh, they're A's, oops. Oh well, we'll need those for someone. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. Rear suspension arm. Alright, I guess we're getting more of this stuff then. Oh. Need that too. Nope. Because we're probably going to have a problem if I don't put the uh, rubber bushing on there. A hundred percent anyway. Probably get away with it, but uh, yeah, no. Probably not a good idea. Just gonna waste time. Alright, sway bar B. Rear sway bar B, man. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely a video for the new guys. Or if you haven't worked on these cars and been restoration and you want to do some jobs, then you can do this. Although you're probably already done with all of them, so. You know. Or you can want to start over the game. You can actually start back over with a new account. Or game. And then uh, follow along and do it all over again. So, you can do that too. Like, play it legitly without using all the glitches and money cheats and stuff like that. You know? If you're into that type of thing. But, uh, once we get the, uh, DLCs, it'll start getting super popular again, having all kinds of videos to do on that. It's probably gonna happen while I'm working, too. I'm gonna be like, dang it! <laughs> So I will get the videos up on that, it's just, it's gonna probably, might be a little bit late, I'm assuming, cause uh, they're probably gonna come out when I'm working and then I'll be like, oh shoot. <laughs> I'll get you guys all the good info, cause it's the best place to get info on car mechanic simulator videos, that's for sure. Starting to think about what I would do next after this game, you know, kind of fizzles out. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, we could go anywhere with the channel, honestly. So it doesn't have to just be this or any of this stuff.
Um, so we got that, we got that. Oh, we're missing this thing. Completely forgot about that. There we go. And, uh, we're good there, looks like. Uh, we got the sway bar on. Just threw new shocks on it, why not? Brakes and the pads. Making sure I'm still recording so it doesn't freeze on me, which it might do in a second here or so. Yeah, I sound out of it like crazy. It's nuts. Yeah. He's so, he's so tired. He's tired. He's so tired. Time to take a nap. Oh yes. It's time to take a nap. All right, we froze up a little bit. Uh, we're just checking off things that we've fixed. We got done and we're missing three more parts still. Just trying to get the car back together. So then we can just do some tests and see what happened to, or what these three parts are. And we need that wheel hub bearing that I missed and the front drive axle and or Axle knuckle housing. Hmm. Oh, that's why, because it's got the wheels, so it's like not showing uh, the, the parts very well. So we need to get these rims done so I can see what it is. Let's see. What is it, Classic 2? Oh my gosh, I'm out of it. Wait, what side are the rims? Nineteen. No! Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A little tired, I guess. Nineteen. Just need to separate these. Boy, these look so tiny compared to those massive tires we've been doing. Or the goofy donut tires or burrito tires. I don't know why I'm calling them donuts. They don't really look like donuts. They're more burrito-ish. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess donuts do have those, like, twists that kind of look that way, I guess. Not really, though. They look so tiny. So funny. It's like we need bigger rims and stuff. Or tires or something. Just doesn't look good. It's not big enough. The bigger, the better. This is what I say. Okay, so now we should be able to at least Check the rim off. Oh my gosh, the list. Figure out where this wheel hub bearing that we're missing is. So we're missing the knuckle there, so I gotta take all that apart again. <laughs> and then the bearing must be up here maybe? The one thing that sucks about the highlighting thing. It's great, but then it misses stuff. Yep, so this is what we need. I guess I should have just replaced the parts and not put the 45, 49% thing in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Do we have one? Yeah, it's because we're awesome like that. Okay, wheel hub bearing, there we go. Now we just got that one part there. Missing the knuckle housing. And another part. 
So, uh, let's just put it in that. Nope. Ugh, dang it. <laughs> I'm so tired, apparently. Oh, gotta put oil in it. Back up, there we go. Go into the test path, there we go. At least we can figure out what those two or three parts are, maybe. What's in here. It's starting and running, yay! Oh, I gotta hold the brake, there we go. Forgot how to do this. Yeah, boys. Yeah, booty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping the DLCs are next week, so we'll see what happens. Maybe even this weekend. We don't know. I'm working pretty much the whole weekend, so uh, I won't be able to put up a video too early after that, if that's the case. Yeah, see, it's just still all 49, so that's not helping. Maybe we need to drive it on the test track? That would be a possibility. Maybe give it some hover tires and stuff like that, maybe? Worth a shot. Trying to hurry this up, this video might be a little bit longer than the other ones. The way it's going. This is always the part that takes me the longest. Get down the last two or three parts and I'm just not sure where they're at. And I always do all these tests and then I can't figure out where it is and what the problem is, so... Sometimes get frustrating. It's just something simple. And when the car's got rusty parts like it does now, it basically is difficult to tell what is the nasty part and needs to be replaced or not. So, as you can tell, the car isn't in the best shape. And it's pink, so it's just... We don't have to worry about hitting walls or anything because we've already damaged the front end of this car anyway. Which we still need to replace the body parts, too. Once we get the mechanics figured out. But going old school with the car mechanic simulator back to... The beginning. Sort of. Like actual mechanic work instead of just restorations and junk like that. There we go, front spring. At least we got one part found. So we did find something at least.
Alright, let's get this apart. Hopefully we can get this all back together. Finished up pretty soon. Oh, wheel hub. Come on. There you go. Sorry, we gotta take all this stuff off just to get that out of there. I hate these knuckles. Especially when you're doing a job. Of course, we're pretty quick at it, so we got it. I'm just gonna take a nap and fall asleep, okay guys? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe the other part's the small bearing. I don't think so, though. Suspension arm. Probably already did those. Oh, that's right. It's just doing all the ones that we already did. We just haven't discovered one part, though. It's missing one thing. Which I have no idea would be... Whatever it is. That's what we were missing on this side. Yeah. Wow, I need to wake up. Holy cow. I think I've said that like seven times in the video. It's just called the title Tired. That's what I'll do. Tired. That'll be the episode title. And tags and everything. Tired. Simple, elegant, and just fantastic is what it'll be. So the front spring was the one we were missing. And uh, let's see. Get all that cleared out. So we need, yeah, one one more thing we're missing. So hopefully it has to do with the front spring. Maybe. And of course we have to take the wheel off. Yeah, it's gonna be a long video here. All right. Take this thing apart. Yeah, it's just the front spring then. Oh, it's the rear. Nope. Front spring. Maybe it's the other front spring? Who knows? It would have told us, though, in the, the test that we did. There we go. Front spring. Or 
Where would this be at? It says ABS pump brake servo. So maybe it's up in the engine compartment, maybe? Maybe it's the battery? We've already taken that off, so what it's holding. Hmm. I really don't know. Maybe the air filter? Well, that looks good. Base is good. Radiator? Well, that's all fine. Hoping it was something simple. Sure, why not? Let's check the starter. Oh, well, that's fine. Maybe it's the filter, because we were supposed to change the oil filter. Could be something really easy like that. It might have actually said something about that. Yep, that must be it. Um, well, that's right, did it not spill out oil when I took it off? That's weird. Oh, that's what it was, the oil filter. <laughs> Something stupid like that every time. Okay, so we got it all done. There we go. Now let's just get the body parts, and we'll be done with the video, or the car anyway, in the video. Um, God dang it, what was the parts? Fenders, bumper, headlights, hood, right side mirror, right door window, front window. Oh, so that's pretty easy. What's this car's name? Mayan M3, okay. Basically the Audis. Is this how it's spelled? Oh, it needs to be over here. Duh. Yep, no brain power at all. It's going off of, uh, you know, that stuff. I don't know. I'm not making any sense right now. Front window. So we need a front right door window. And then I think we need the right mirror. Yeah, so then we should have the front bumper too, and we need the hood, and the headlight, and the other headlight. Should be everything. I don't think we need to paint it to factory or anything. Alright, anything I'm missing? No, that's everything. So we didn't, don't need to paint it to factory, but, uh, whoa, tablet. Or we're, we're one of those, like, awesome mechanics, so we're just gonna completely fix what they wanted, and we're just gonna get the car looking fabulous and factory painted. Bam! Look at that, brand new. So nice. Look at that, car is like perfect shape. His wife will love it, they'll be able to drive it. Everything looks great on it. Let's go ahead and sell it. Not sell it, but uh, I will need the front license plates. Oh, I guess we gotta put new ones on it, fine. Well, there you go. They even have new plates. Oh, okay. Just needed the front one. All right, we'll finish the job here. And if you guys like the video, definitely leave a like. Definitely subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and get notified when my videos are up. Midnight every day. 
Don't forget to check out the description, my new merch, my Patreon, and my PayPal. See you guys in the next video.